George? Net immigration of Mexicans has been for at least five years either zero or negative. I don't know where Mr. Trump has been. He's been drowned out, I guess, by the sound of the great sucking sound that was supposed to occur from Mexico. That was what we last heard from a billionaire who wanted to be president. That was Ross Perot. His desire to put his considerable money where his even more considerable mouth is, is part of an American tradition. In 1904, another rich megalomaniac named William Randolph Hearst decided that he would seek the Democratic presidential nomination. He finished a distant second to the forgettable Alton B. Parker, who was then thrashed by Teddy Roosevelt. In the 1920s, there was interest in getting Henry Ford to run for president. He wasn't very interested, but in 1923, a Collier's Magazine poll, which was a big deal back then, had him leading all other candidates of both parties for the presidency. In 1940, a genuine serious businessman, Wendell Wilkie, head of a giant utilities holding company, got the Republican nomination, ran a very credible race, but that's a, that's a rarity. In the 1980s, Lee Iacocca, who gave the country the Mustang, which is more than anyone can say for Donald Trump, and rescued Chrysler from one of its recurring near-death experiences, was su suggested as president. Mayakoka said, go away, I'm not interested. So this is a recurring American fever. What makes Mr. Trump particularly interesting is, A, he's very injurious to the Republican Party because he takes, in some ways, the most interesting field since the Republicans first fielded a candidate in, in 1856 and, and makes it look silly. Second, the Republicans are going to have to come to terms with the fact that he's given lots of money to Democrats, including money to Nancy Pelosi in 2006 when she managed to become Speaker. But we're going to learn here the declining utility of political dollars. That you just can't buy things in this country this way. And remember that the entire marketing genius of the Ford Motor Company was put behind the Edsel. He is an Edsel. There is an inherent contradiction which